could hide Neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings The shaven razor's cold and it stings I remember exactly when I decided to be a horse, but I knew it was better than being human. Taking your father away, he can't hurt you anymore. It's all over, Nelly. You can come out now. Come on, Nelly, be a good girl. Go get her. Young Lawton had to have tetanus injections, and Terence is missing part of his ear. Well, she just needs a little time to adjust, Mr. Cordial. She's only been with us a few months. The sort of games your niece is playing could be fatal to some poor kitty. Puss head. That's enough. Scumbag! The damage has been done. Put that down, Millie. It's not yours. I'm sorry, Miss Hazelbrook. I can't keep her on. Come on, Nelly. Dr. Montgomery wants to have a little talk with you, dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll be waiting just out here. Hey. Oh, there, girl. Steady up. Hey, walk back. <laughs> Exactly how you feel, Nelly. Every night, I used to become King Kong so that the boogeyman wouldn't get me. The moment I heard him coming, I leap up onto the bed just to scare him off. <laughs> so you see, Nelly, deep down in all of us, there lurks an animal. He looks after us. Now, we should all be familiar with reproduction. Who can tell me what happens during intercourse? Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> what about our new girl? Nell? Well, they nuzzle a bit, and she lifts up her tail and he climbs on. <laughs> That's enough, all right. Made her 
remarkable progress, Vera. Once she's confronted by a threatening situation, little Nell is going to revert to the protection of the horse. But, Doctor, she bites people. Ah, she'll grow out of that once she learns acceptable behaviour. You have a wonderful imagination, Nelly. One of these days you might be a writer, an artist, or even a great actress. Think of that, Nelly. to get a guy when all you think about is horses. Do you know how many this is? <laughs> that was the sixth champion stallion you've knocked back. What was wrong with him, for Christ's sake? Seventeen hands. Good breeding. You're not going to get away with this. Do you know where I'm going this morning? I'm going to the auction. I'm going to pay an absolute fortune on some more ruddy seamen. <laughs> oh, get on my car. Oh, what'd you do to her? Jesus Christ, I've just got it back from the garage. <sighs> If she doesn't produce a false soon, I'm sunk. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? I've got our stern in Perth. Okay, put him on. Digby, you're gonna have to find another investor for your musical, mate. Oh, you're kidding. This St. Jive Talk's gonna be the biggest thing since cats. Yeah, look, we're buying a diamond mine. Came up suddenly. We're gonna need all our cash. It's a bit short notice, Al. Yeah, sorry, mate. Next time, mate. Bloody hell. You make my heart sing. Just lost my major investor. You can't use Mandy Turner. Why not? Look, she's fantastic, but no one knows. We agreed on her yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I had out. Today I've got to replace him. Look, where's my box office insurance? I've offered it to Mandy. So? Uh, thank you, David. Uh, we'll let you know. International names, they're all available. They're, they're singers. They're performers. This is not a rock concert you're producing here, Digby. This is a full theatrical piece. I need an actress. I've got a, I've got a 
can't work like this. Look, an actress who sings or a singer who acts, what's the difference? I have done a show on Broadway, in Paris, Tokyo. Why don't the goddamn investors cast the show? They ain't the goddamn investors. You'd be out of a job. They could design the sets. Oh, oh, Their oh. wives could choose the bloody costume. Look, it's my track record they rely on. It's not yours. <laughs> I don't want to replace you, Mike, but I will. I know the demands of Believe Raw. Just leave the casting to me. Think about it. Mr. Novak. Uh, hi. Um, Nell Hazelbrook. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry I'm late. Um, I, I know you wanted me to audition for the part of uh, Peggy, but I think I'd be much better as Kate. Now, um... I know Kate's a bigger part, but... It's the lead. Well, yes, but Kate is right for me. I mean, I can do the tap routines on my ear. Kate's been cast. Right. Well, on second thought, Peggy's got some great moments. I... Piss off! Come on. Come on, baby. You always do this to me when I'm in a rush. Never on a weekend. <laughs> oh, look, if that old thing can do it, you can. Yeah? All right, I'll be there. Oh, oh look, don't worry about it. I'll call you back. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just did that to your car. I'm really sorry. You must be really angry at me. Scream! We joined an acting class like this. Ah! Are you stupid or some special kind of stupid? Can I give you a lift? It's the least I can do. Bloody hell! Yeah, go on, let it out, the anger. Boy, am I angry! That director is such a jerk! You're right! I am stupid. Not just run-of-the-mill stupid, but seriously thick, a prize done! Come on, give me a lift! I'll never audition for you again! Give me a lift! Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Get in. Oh. He says, piss off! It's jive talk, huh? Go down faster than the Titanic. No, it's not. It's going to be a big hit. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon. I'm the producer. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Red light. Oh. This seat gets stuck. Find. Well, they are, but but not really. You see, they're rezoning my street for resident parking, and I haven't had time to get a stick up, so I've got a few fines, but I won't have to pay for them. Oh, they're not going to get any greener. Oh, I'm sorry. Going. The car's unregistered. Please never come this way. Ah, oh, this is great. I've got four minutes. Don't worry, I'll get you there on time. Now, can you take the wheel? Brake! Brake! Brake the brake! Oh, here it is. It's a bit damaged. Sorry, but see, my address is here on the back. Now, if you could give me something with your address on it, then, then I could get in touch with you about the car and, and, and I'll get you some money for, for everything. And, Right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, just give it a big push. Oh, I'm sure. Uh -huh. Digby. Oh, you're the dorm and you fix it. 
happened to the Lamborghini? Oh, it's taking its afternoon nap. Here, I'll file this. Who's that? Oh, some fruitcake actress. Now, for the newsmaker story, I've organised for a reporter and a photographer to meet us at two tomorrow at the start. Is Brad Hislop okay with you? Oh, why him? He wanted the assignment, and he's controversial. People like him. I don't trust that man. Oh, come on, Digby, you could eat him for breakfast. Ninety, I'm bid. I'm bid at ninety, and one hundred thousand dollars. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hannibal Gold. This is he's where I'll champion. give my bank manager a he's heart attack. Winning races all over the country. One hundred thousand, one hundred and five, one hundred and five thousand. And ten. One hundred and ten thousand dollars. Here's trouble. Your mate, Tony Mason, bidding against us again. One hundred and ten thousand dollars. And one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Calling it once at one fifteen. One hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. One hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. One fifteen and one twenty. Mystery bidder at the back at one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. One hundred and twenty thousand oh, no, dollars. Sorry, that wasn't me. Well, I mean, yes, it was me. But but I'm not bidding. Oh. Definitely no. Back to 115. Just no, okay? 115, 120. Now, is that a genuine bid? 120,000, 120,000 dollars. Thanks. I'm not bidding about the car again. Okay? I bid at 120,000 and 125, 125,000 and 30, 130,000 dollars. I bid at 130,000. Call it once. How good did you say that bloody stallion is? Real good. Call it twice. You better be. <laughs> One thirty-five, one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars, one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars once, one hundred thirty-five thousand twice, at one hundred thirty-five thousand third and final call, at one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. Are you silent? <laughs> Sold, Mr. Olson. <laughs> now, the lot. Don't tell me you're going to waste it on that mare of yours. Why? Do you fancy her yourself? Benny, hello, son. Hi, Dad. When are we going to see you? Listen, mate, I booked you on the first flight after school breaks up, OK? Oh, hey, that's great. Um, hey, Dad, can I play griddle? Mum said I had to ask you. 
Yeah, of course you can. Just make sure you wear a mouth guard. Okay, I'll promise. I've got to go now, Dad. I'm going to the movies with Mum. Oi! Oh, shit! Come on! Get away from me! Get up! Go! Go! Have a good day, mate. I'm dreadfully sorry, Mr. Lipsky. Mr. Olson can't see you today. Well, have you told him who it is? Mr. Olson's far too busy to concern himself with you and your sideshow. But this is important. I have to see him. Nev! Digby. Good to see you. <laughs> did the girls make you feel at home? Yeah, they sure did. Look, come in. <laughs> How long's it been? Accounts wanted to talk to the bank urgently. The leasing company keeps phoning about the Lamborghinis. They can come and get it. I need an armor-plated tank. What's wrong with the Lamborghini? I need a car with wheels. Two coffees, Dawn. OK. Shit. Lipsky, where do I know that name from? Will you put some clothes on, please? Look, Percy's like a father to me. He gave me my first job in Australia. But what can I do? Dad listens to you. No, he doesn't. We've hardly got enough to feed the animals. Look, three years ago I told him, I said either update Lipsky Brothers or go broke just like every other small circus has. He hasn't spoken to me since. <laughs> He's like an ostrich. Anyway, we all took a vote, all of us. We want you to come. Times have changed. We've made changes. Kids go to rock concerts now. I told them we need to put some music in the show. Get some new talent. Diversify. Diversify? <laughs> Your Uncle George would turn over in his grave if he heard this. Let's keep at this disco circus. It sounds smart to me. Every little kid in his heart wants to see old time circus. You can make their dreams come true. Look, I can't promote your circus. I just haven't got the time. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. Because that's a good look. How was the audition? Wendy, I need to ask you a huge favour. Uh-oh. I need to borrow a lot of money. Now. Maybe even 2,000? <laughs> you already owe me 500 in rent. Oh, please. Look, this is an emergency. Look, I'll pay you back, I promise. How are you going to do that? I'll get a steady job. Oh, sure, like the two weeks at the car wash. <laughs> Come on. No one told me I had to close the sunroof. A hundred thousand dollar car just down the drain. <laughs> oh, no, I'm joking. Look, I really need the money. Is the job at the club still going? Only on the condition that you don't quit until you pay me back the loan. Of course not. Sure. Great. Now, at least you'll get to meet some half-decent guys for one. Yeah, with my track record. Have you ever had an orgasm? I know what it is. Since I've had one. Maybe two. With a guy. Uh, will I be able to get the money today? Swansea girl. Come on. Oh! 
Too smart for her own good sometimes, <coughs> aren't you? For the car. First instalment. You're kidding. It was my fault. Oh, look, just forget well, it. No, no, no. I pay my own way. They really like it when you do this. Well, just leave her alone. Come on. Come on. Oh. She's a real character, isn't she? Sorry. You're on private property. Sorry. Sorry. Check this out. Sorry. Sorry. Digby, exercising your latest mouth. You're the one who likes mudslinging, Brad. Digby, I'll take Brad up and get him a drink. You get cleaned up. Uh, uh, um, can I have a receipt? Oh, come and get cleaned up. Uh, oh, I didn't know you had a horse farm. I love horses. This is fantastic. Wow, what's her name? Nastasia. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she ought to be. She cost me one and a half million bucks. So why does a rock and roll promoter go into horse breeding? A couple of investors had some spare cash. You paid a record price for Nastasia. She was cheap. Her racing record's a legend. She barren. She'll fall, and her weight will be worth every single penny. Yeah, well, let's talk show business. You've certainly had some disastrous tours this year. Is Jive Talk the next lemon? I've got a great director, a great cast. It's going to be a world-class production. I reckon you're walking on a thin edge. Brad, risk is why a man like me lets a man like you write about it. I mean, I'm taking a risk that you have got a scrap of bloody vision about what we're pioneering here. Since the day I pissed off from that orphanage and went to the circus, I have been taking risks. Every time I tour a major act here, I'm taking a risk. Of course I know this stud's a risk. It's state of the art. New techniques take time. Margot, send Brad two tickets for the premiere of Jive Talk. And when we get stand innovations and 18 months of bookings, then you will know why I take risks. <laughs> Just write the trees, Brad, and we'll both be very, very happy. Well, let's do some shots at the desk then, shall we? Um, the, 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 the pants, they're too big. Deal with them, Margot. Please. Margot Majors, I run Digby's life. Do you have an appointment?
So this is Animal Gold. Must be a small horse. Don't shake that. Very valuable horse, Seaman. Sorry I'm late. Bet you thought I'd never come. <laughs> Up a little bit. That's great. great. And profile? That's good. Okay, let's do some shots over at the stable. Whoa! Whoa! You're bullying! How can you do that to them? It's meant to be an act of love! You let them go! Jaden! Those men's got a fortune, now they're probably going to be run down by a fucking bus. What have I done to deserve this? Sorry! Sorry! Brad, I love your piece when I was with my dog. It was fantastic. You are such a good ride. <laughs> Good one now, extremely dumb. Whatever you do, don't let that girl near the place again. Shit. I left that ruddy semen on her car. Oh. Bloody hell is we got five friggin' minutes. Don't worry, she'll be here. Chance out to nine o'clock, thank you. She bloody well better be. Lighten up, Stu. Get your clothes off. Don't take any notice of him. Change up here. There you go. What's this? That's your costume. But I can't wear this. I'm a comic, not a stripper. Nell, it comes with the job. But aren't I playing different characters? Yep, and that's what you wear. Here's your prop. What's this for? Read your cue sheet. Every time he gets a hard on, he faints.
here for this evening's rip-roaring action. You're on, Neil. What are you doing? Neil, take a look. She's lowering the tone of the place. All right, I'll talk to her. Because if you like a man in uniform, then tonight is your night. <laughs> he's got a girl in every port, and tonight he's looking for one at every table. But I thought I'd be wearing different costumes. This is your costume. But I play different roles. My character's This is not the Royal fucking Shakespeare Company, sweetheart. Your job to get out there and launch it up. Those sheilas are come to see Dick, not Pollyanna, right? Dick, right. Good. Dick. Why don't you show them yours, Stu? That'd be good for a laugh. You're going back. Oh, great, they loved you. Oh, I'll go through the routines with you. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure. I'll get you an ice pack. I saw you fell off the stage. Don't worry about it. They thought it was part of the show. I'm a complete fool of myself. <laughs> Never done in the fridge before. Have you got my canister? Oh, yes. Why didn't you bring it back? Well, I only found it when I got home and then I had to go to work. It's in the fridge. Well, that's funny, it's gone. Jesus Christ, you know how much that horse sperm's worth? Horse sperm? Yeah, horse sperm. But... Horse spunk. A hundred and forty grand's worth of cum. Jesus, what are my investors going to say? They're going to kill me. Look, just cut the crap and give me back my semen. Maybe Wendy took it. Who the hell is Wendy? She's my flatmate. She's at aerobics. Oh, I see. Oh, Wendy, your flatmate, who's at aerobics, took my semen to keep her company. Do you want a carrot juice? Have you got anything stronger? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, put him on. Speak up, Benny. Hang on. All right, stop crying. All right, why won't your mum let you play, son? Look, stop crying. Stop trying to put your mum on. Oh, as long as he's padded and he's wearing a mouth guard, what is the problem? Look, it's not easy to say no to a kid from 12,000 miles away. Claire, your bloody parents can see him any time they want. I want to take the boy snorkeling on the barrier reef. No, I cannot come there at the moment. I've just got too much happening. Claire, at the moment, I'm struggling to stay afloat. Oh, Look, please, all who I want is to that? All I want is to be <laughs> Have you seen those little tube things that were in the freezer? Everything fell out of the freezer last night. I put it all back in the ice tray. Now he is cute. <laughs> About your horses. Well, why do you do it? Do what? Well, 
you know, with the mares. I mean, it, it's so cruel. Look, you don't know Nastasia. Raw gold, fairy queen and missy maid. What are you talking about? Well, they're the only three that are pregnant. Hang on. I have been up all night looking for you. I have just lost a huge pile of dough. I do not need this bullshit! It's in the ice cubes! No semen, huh? Uh, stuffed. We've got to get some more. We're out of luck with Hannibal Gold. He's come down with a virus. Oh, that bastard's probably going to drop dead on us next. It's the uh, tests. Only three of this lot are pregnant. Royal Gold, Missy Maid and Fairy Queen. Yeah, that's right. How did you know? What is going down here, girls? Have I stinted on prime fees? The best of grooming daily gallops? Hot and cold running vets? <laughs> You're the shit stirrer. You're... Don't you look at me so smug. You're the one who's been whipping these girls into a frenzy. <laughs> Well, it's gonna stop! If you don't produce a foal soon, you are gonna be gourmet pet food. <laughs> hey, guys, have you seen me tape? Oh, yeah, what's yeah, loose, boy? What do you think? No, Nell, too daggy. Oh. Wendy, where's my tape? In your bag next to your hairspray. Hey, Nell, I've lost my chaps. Can you cover for me? What? Just put this on, take that, and just introduce my ex. Say anything, I don't care. <laughs> hey guys, can you help me look for my chaps? Go for it, darling. Where is he? Where is he? And now, ladies, put your legs together for the wild night rider looking for a mount. And here he is! I told you not to change the routines. Oh, I had to cover for all. But they seem to like it. I'll tell you what they like, right? I've been watching you. Well, what do you mean? Never mind. Have a drink after the show. Oh, no, no thanks. I'm, I'm going to have an early night. Who with? I'm as good as you're going to get. Geez, you're a dark horse. You've made the centerfold. Digby Olsen enjoying a quiet weekend down at the farm with friend. It's always the quiet <laughs> one. Oh no! This is terrible. Was the mud his idea? Oh come on, Neil, you're mad about him. Admit it. I am not. Just how could I be if he hates me? Oh come off it, Neil. Well, how would you feel if I'd smashed your car and let your horses go and frozen your semen? Oh well, I suppose there's a fair to middling chance she's blown it. Royal gold. Missy maid. I'm fairy queen. <sighs> three out of three. Maybe she's psychic. Hi. I got to the all night newsstand. Sneaky little turd. Last time I gave him an exclusive. <laughs> Why is she doing this to me? She's the one putting the hex on me. Her and the bloody ice queen are in this together. They're trying to send me bankrupt. Well, the good news is I just dined with Lex Potter and he wants to invest in Jive Talk. Do you believe in psychic powers? Oh, there's just one catch. He plays polo and... I always thought it was bullshit. No. And I said you played reserve at the big charity match. Yeah, sure. Do you think she's a witch? 
She's a bloody alien. How did you know? Oh, what are you doing here? How did you know about my mares? They told me. Oh, they told you? Oh, of course. Oh, they must have forgotten to mention it to me. I grew up with horses. They, they talked to me. It's just horse talk. Right. Talk horse. What do you want me to say? I'll see ice cream while she's kicked six stallions in the balls. Being angry won't hurt. What is she, gay or something? She's unhappy. She's unhappy? What about me? She wants to go for a burn. Uh, hang on, hang on. What are you doing? She hasn't had a saddle on her back for nearly two years. It's OK. She needs a bit of fun in her life. But having foals is fun. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Something's missing in her life. What does she want? She can have anything. She can have a mink horse rug, diamond studded horseshoes. She can have a crocodile nose bag if she wants one. She misses her lover. Her lover? Yeah. He was her old stable mate. Well, who is he? She won't say. Now, who does she want to screw for Christ's sake? She can't go around having it off of any old hack. I'm sorry. She just doesn't trust you. Trust me, she hates me. No. She hates the idea of getting pregnant by a syringe. You're not serious. To make a good foal, you need a mum and a dad and some love. Hey. Uh. All right. Maybe your love is a champion with the right bloodlines. Come here. You get her to tell you, and then you slip the name to me. Eh? She's not that dumb. Come on, I've got a better idea. It's about time you two got to know each other. Hang on, hang on. I know well enough. Come okay? on. Look, you've never even touched her. That's what horses respond to. Look, hang on. on. I've been bitten too many times. Just hide behind me. She won't bite you. Good girl. <laughs> You're not up so here, bad. Up
I knew it. You've fallen for him, haven't you? No, it's not your business. Hey, guys, Nell's in love. Oh. Relax, Nell. It's not against the law. If he hates a fan, do you want a double date? Uh, he's not married, is he? Nell? Get out of the way, guys. She's really upset. Hey, Nell. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't want to talk about it. Come on, you've got to play the game. To get to the other side. Right. Why did the pervert cross the road? I don't know why. He had his dick stuck in the chicken. Oh. <laughs> hey, how about having dinner with me tonight? No, sorry, I can't. Don't tell me I've got to buy another chicken. Got you, Coke. Hey, the way he keeps hassling me, he's such a sleeve. Yeah, I know, he's the pit. you just got to learn to handle him. Handle him? He keeps showing his filthy magazines in my bag. Let's go, now you're on. Bondage, bestiality, necrophilia. Oh, what is this shit? I hate this place. I've got to get out of here. Nell, you can't. You promised. Don't worry. I'll pay you back. I'll audition for everything that's going. Just keep running, don't you? Come on, Nell, let's go. I know that you're the sort of theatre company that demands real risk-taking from its actors, and I just want you to know that I love taking risks. Now, just do it. Oh. Right. Stop! Stop! Thank you. We're pitching for a new brand of frozen peas, yeah? Now, just imagine you're a pea and you've just left the pod for the first time. Now, you've got a spring inside you, then let the spring go and just, just allow whatever natural sound to come out. And... I'm not seeing pee. I'm hearing broccoli. Right? Right. Right. Yeah. And <clears throat> action. Do you have a major film credit? Um, I had a small part on Play School. I was a sunflower. You might have seen it. Did your agent tell you is is a uh, erotic scene is this film where Gina she gets drunk and does a striptease at a party? I, th I thought it was meant to be a thriller. Well, let me put it this way: it will be pretty thrilling. We need to have a look at your body. You understand? Did you bring a swimsuit? No. Well. We are all film people here. There's no need to be bashful. Well, we are waiting. You are fucking actress! Hmm. So it was very interesting. Now! Moment, then I thought I had another horse to feed. 
Look, I didn't know where else to take you. That audition really freaked you out, didn't it? Is that your film they're making? No, it's not my film. I just asked Trish to put you up for a few jobs, that's all. Pornography? It's supposed to be a thriller. I'm really sorry, OK? Forget it. I'm giving up acting for good. Why? Why do you want to do that? Because I only ever did it to feel like a normal person. You're not a freak. You're a little bit unusual, maybe. Yeah, well, you would be too if you'd been... You want to tell me? My mum died. And my father was a real crazy. He used to come down to the stable and try and get me. So I just used to go and hide with the horses. I just wanted to be one of them. Look, you're no freak. I mean, you've got magical gift with horses. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's really special, isn't it? Hey? Hey? Just hang in there. You'll get stronger. Are you stronger? Well, why did you split up with your family? Work. I'm a workaholic. It messes everything up. It must be really hard with your little boy halfway around the world. Yeah. But I'm never going to give up on Benny. Digby, it's a call from Neville Lipsky. It's Purse. He's had a heart attack and he won't go to the hospital. Oh, no. Jeez. Oh, come with me. Come on. I'm not going to go into any hospital. If I'm going to die, I'll That's die right. here. First, you've got a heart like an elephant. You're a long way from dead. It's about time you got here. The future's in Neville's hands now. But he's going to need someone to watch over him. He's got me. Now, will you do something for me? These people want to take you to hospital. I went over the books. It's worse than I thought. I have to shut down a couple of weeks. Are you all right? Yeah. I just wish I could write my check. Listen, uh, I'll be honest with you. I came to your audition today because I need you to do something for me. Will you talk to Nastasia again? If she doesn't produce a foal, I'm finished. I've got to get the name of that stallion. It's my last chance. Test you before. No, no, no. I promise I'll bring the stallion to the stud. Okay. I'll try. I'll tell her you're all right. You are, you know.
cavalier lad, Nostalgia. They were rivals and lovers. Look at that. He wins, she wins, he wins. It's as if they're taking it in turns. It cost a fortune. Double Hannibal Gold. He's a champion. Get him, Ron. On the say-so of that mad girl? Nelly's not mad. Anyway, this comes straight from the horse's mouth. What about the whole AI program? And what about the investors? Forget that. Get me Cavalier Lad. Good morning. What's this? You are going to look divine. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Who's the sexy new reserve? What's this about? The Lexus team colours. You're playing reserve today. I don't remember agreeing to that. Well, you did. Darling, if Lex doesn't invest, we're up shit creek. Mm. Breakfast. How thoughtful. Would you like some juice? I don't believe this. Listen. Uh, being reserved, that means I don't have to play, right? Not unless someone has a nasty fall. This is first grade polo! I could die! Taken on the near side by Greg Bella. Backhand by Tony Mason. Picked up now by Peter Pino. Lex Rubin makes a nice ball against the right. Ball of the price is out with a shot under his Tony's neck. Jenny's his Tony. Takes the next shot right between the posts. There's the bell. Takes the first tackle of the score now. Longford and Sheffield. Three goals each. Thanks. We have a five minute break now, ladies and gentlemen. We remind them that the volunteers are ready to cater to your Well, well. Tony Mason, how are you? Oh. You play polo? No, no, no. Just reserve. Pity. Now, players coming back onto the field for the commencement of the ball. This chucker, Peter Benetta, will be riding the famous horse, Akbar. Shameless little card. Did you know she works in a strip show? No. She came into audition. Totally off the planet. The teams are lining up and shortly we'll have play underway. I've got a bad feeling about this game. I can guarantee you Oliver Price won't be able to continue this game this afternoon. His team will have to find a replacement player. You're on, old sport. Lex, I think you should know now, right? I am one lousy polo player. I mean, Margot gets a little bit carried away. Well, you got to play. Otherwise, we forfeit the match. Now the replacement will be little-known English player, Dickie Olsen. Just remember to trust her and she'll do anything for you. Olsen will be riding with the grey mare, Swansea Girl. Good luck. While we're waiting, uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget the bottle surprise, a bottle of solid champagne for any spectators. She's raring to go. Afternoon, lads. Line up, players. Right line down here, players. We're about to get underway after this little break. Right, players. Play! Now the other part of the story is right down there. Play. You're up against the two. The old team is at the moment. It's getting scary. The only one of the girls swings around, shooting out of the play. Big Bella with a nice backhand on the offside. Tony Mason goes to the lead. Lex Rubin is there with a the backhand. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
If you can pick them as well as you do polo ponies, the show will make a fortune. <laughs> hey, Mason. Do you know your horse has got two arseholes and you're one of them? Bastard. Listen, I've got a proposal to put to you. I'm going to forget about that AI breeding program. I want you to pair the stallions with the mares. I want us to be partners. What do you think? Baby darling, Claire, New York. I think she has some fantastic news for you. Let me guess. She wants to double her alimony. <laughs> Look, will you stay here? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Claire? I'll look after Nell. Oh, you talk to your wife. That's Benny. I'll talk to your clever young strapper. Or is it stripper? Sorry? What do you mean? Don't you work in a strip club? Yes, but, but I'm a comic. Oh. Your parents must be so proud of you. I knew you'd be reasonable. Oh, it's the best thing for the kid. I'm over the moon for both of them. <laughs> both of who? Bigby and Claire. She's agreed to come home and give it another try. He wants that? Oh, God, yes. Desperately. He's been imploring her for months now. Would you like some champagne? Where's Nell going? I'd say she met a boy, wouldn't you? What were you two talking about? Oh, chit chat. You know, her profession, you, and then off she went. Me? Yes, and how wonderful it is that Claire's coming home. You can be an awesome bitch. Didn't you know she's a common little stripper? <laughs> Trish told me the whole story. Where does she work? Does it really matter what flea pit she flushes her ass in?
first. It was a peaceful end. <laughs> he said to say goodbye. Digby, boys are coming for dinner tonight. Your guest of honour, man of the match. <laughs> oh, bring the lovely young Margot along too. Love to, Lex. I'll write you a cheque for the show. Lex. Forget about jive talk. I've got a far more dynamic proposition for you. This young man is about to stage the most spectacular showbiz revival for years. Digby. The old-fashioned circus is back. It's a big one, Lex. It's one of those solid gold chances that comes along once every ten years, if you're lucky. Well, I'll need some more details, of course. I'll bring them tonight. Right. <laughs> I say, a circus. Oh, Reggie! Gordon! <laughs> You're a damn fool! Shut up, Margot! I'll get Jive Talk up too now. Just get off my back! <sighs> you haven't lost your touch, have you? That was the easy part. You've got the hard part. You've got to take Lipsky Brothers into the 21st century. trouble. Yeah, married ones are the worst. I just feel really stupid. I mean, all he wanted was help with the horses. And now there'll be other men, other rich, famous, spunky ones. What am I gonna do? Look, if he wants you, he'll come after you. Yeah, sure. You both pissed! Not us, Stu. We don't drink. Look, she's had a rough day. There she you do with a rough night. You've been piss poor tonight. Half those shields near asleep. Now I want you to get in there and shove your tits out. We got a tight little arse of yours. Make my day horny. Okay, if that's what you want, you got it. Horny, I'll give you a heart attack.
Excuse me, sir. Sorry, I can't help you. Five minutes. Ladies night. Madam? Excuse me. Hey, you're Dick Bjolson. Excuse me. Hey, remember me? I just did the job for. A water ski? Do voices? Well, he cost a fortune. She's got him for keeps. God, thank you! 